Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Henrik Henriksson. Hello everyone and uh, welcome to Scania and the Scania family. And it's, it's a big family today. Uh, I'm happy to see that. It's now two years since uh, we were standing on this stage um, launching the new truck generation. I was proud as a king, I remember that, spending all that money, two and a half billion euro for a new program. But what an incredible two years it's been. I mean, it's been an amazing journey. So please join me and have a look at this. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. Um, two years it's been, and now, Scania, we have the strongest and broadest product range ever. You in the media that are joining us today, you have been impressed with what we have launched now the two last years. Impressed with the fuel consumption, with the drivability, and also with the comfort, and of course with the quality of the whole vehicle really positive reviews from you in the press and from our customers. You know, we set quite high expectations when we went out with a message about the fuel consumption savings, at least 5%. So did we fulfill our customers' high expectations? Yes, we did. We actually exceeded them as well. And we will continue to exceed our customers' expectations going forward. Please. Take a look around. Look around at this stand. What do you see? Yeah, this is the full range of the new truck generation. Complemented compared to when we were here two years ago with a new XT range that you can see over here, built for the rough conditions, strengthening Scania's position in the construction segment, you also have the new urban range with a low entry that you see here in two configurations, strengthening Scania's position in the more and more important urban segment, considering the urbanization in the world. You know, the thing that I'm most proud of, though, is that all these vehicles that you see in the stand, they run on renewable, non-fossil fuel. At Scania, we have taken a stance. We have taken a position that we will drive the shift towards sustainable transport solutions. That is our purpose. That is what we're going to do. And we have conducted a study that I have here that I would like you all to take with you and look at. And that is a study that is showing a white paper that by 2050, it will be possible for us to have a fossil-free transport system in the world. It's actually possible maybe already at 2030. And that is what we want to do. In that study, it's clear that we need to work with biofuels that you see here today, not only on the trucks, but also on those beautiful buses that you see over there. Biofuels to start with, and then eventually electrification will come into play. And that will be the basis for a fossil-free transport system. But I would like to uh, now invite uh, Christian Levine to come and join me. Christian, who is the head of sales and marketing at Scania, to tell us a little bit more about some of these particular vehicles and the journey ahead. So, Super. Christian. Thank you, Henrik. Good morning also from my side, everyone. So, 
Electrification technology and the needed infrastructure is gaining momentum throughout the world, but short and also medium term, we will have to rely on the combustion engine with biofuels uh, burnt in it for heavy commercial transport. Meanwhile, hybrid vehicles, battery electric, especially on city buses, are approaching cost parity. There are drawbacks of the full electric trucks. They're clear drawbacks. First, being uh, operational, read disruptions because of charging time, but also the availability, of course, of charging infrastructure. But also commercially, read cost or price of the equipment. These hugely expensive trucks often does not have the range, nor for short-haul operation or long-haul operation. The lack of infrastructure is also hindering an efficient deployment of the logistics. Residual values are of great concern to our customers. They wonder, what about the lifespan of the batteries? And do I risk to be stuck with a heavily depreciated vehicle once the battery reach their prime? So, what to do? Good news. We have combined the best of two worlds. Hybrid vehicles with biodiesel and HVO power driveline. So over there, you will see our world's first plug-in hybrid vehicle, an L-series truck. It's keeping Scania's philosophy. It's fully modularized, meaning you can get it in any configuration. It's available here and now. We're opening the order books, not tomorrow, not in five years, but today. You'd say maybe it's expensive. Yeah, of course it's more expensive. You can say it's containing two parallel drive lines compared to uh, its pure diesel sibling. But let me briefly explain to you why we still think and claim that this is a short-term smart, street smart money-making machine for our customers. Firstly, you can run it up to 10 kilometers on pure electric mode, the first charge. At your first stop, delivery or the driver's break, you can fill it up again in less than half an hour and you have another 10 kilometers on full electric. That is more than sufficient for short-haul operations in inner-city transport. Meanwhile, we save fuel. We reduce CO2 emissions. We have long experience by now from hybrid buses in inner-city transport. And what our customers tell us is that fuel savings start from 20%. Now add to that the plug-in capability and it would be fair to assume you can save another 5 or 10. So with a 30% fuel saving, the initial extra price will in quite a few years be totally paid back. So ladies and gentlemen, what we pr propose today is a very appealing offer for any city distribution customer. So what about that residual value worry I was telling you about? Well, when batteries approach the end of life, and there are, of course, batteries also in a plug-in hybrid, even if the price of batteries has hopefully come down a lot, there is still the possibility to continue to run a fantastic Scania L-series combustion engine on biofuels or HVO. So in essence, we propose a win-win-win solution for our customers, for their customers, and for society at large. The PHEV, or the plug-in hybrid, is our latest addition to our sustainable urban range. Another great news, less tangible because it is a service, equally important though, because it ties right into our plug-in hybrid, is the Scania Zone. Thanks to the fact that we have the world's biggest captive connected vehicle fleet, 340,000 vehicles as today and counting, we can develop useful connectivity service for the entire population. And Scania Zone is one of these. It's a smart application to manage restrictions, restrictions in inner city traffic. You know, there are speed restrictions coming up, there are noise restrictions coming up, there are emission uh, restrictions coming up. And we think for the driver to handle inner city traffic, is difficult enough without also having to take care of all these restrictions and risk of fines. 
So leave the job to us, leave the job to Scania Zone for peace of mind for drivers and operators. Now, whilst on the subject of sustainable urban transport, another great piece of news from us here today at the AO. Just outside, you can see the first L-series track with a sliding city door, or a bus door, as I think most people will call it. It's a bus door on the passenger side. It improves greatly visibility and safety in inner city traffic. Plus, it vastly improves the operating conditions especially in historic European cities with very narrow streets. I think this will be a smash hit in distribution and refuse collection applications throughout our markets. So finally, another world premiere, the LNG-fueled Interlink coach that you can see over there. Liquefied natural gas infrastructure is gaining momentum, is being built up in many European and countries throughout the world. So I think our launch of the world's first LNG-powered coach is perfectly timed. There has been several alternatives for city bus operators, but for longer distance bus transports, the choice has been limited. What we launched today with two gas tanks, total 912 liters, is a range of more than 1,000 kilometers for this coach. And I'm happy to say that operators are already responding very positively, and our order books are open, and they are filling up. So by the way, check out all the other great news, new trucks, new buses, and new services that we present here today at the EAO. And as Henrik said, I can proudly say that all of them are fueled with alternatives to diesel. And don't miss out the opportunity to ride here out on the exhibition ground, our shuttle bus, our full electric battery bus, our Scania citywide. So, Henrik, what do you say? What does this all add up to? Yeah, this all adds up to that uh, Scania is taking a firm stance to drive the sustainability of the transport system forward. We will drive the shift. I think you see today with a exhibition that we have that we use biofuels and we use electrification uh, already here and now and that's the only way to sort of drive the shift and we're starting to see now diesel as the alternative we will continue of course on the next coming Hanover show to present more products and services that will sort of drive this shift forward we will continue with that that is our purpose to help our customers to transform the industry. Finally, we would also say that this is a very proud week for the Trayton Group, a group that are transforming transportation, and a group where Scania will be premium, premium and lead by driving a shift towards more sustainable transport solutions. And we will do that together with our customers, because we truly believe that sustainability and profitability goes hand in hand. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we would actually uh, break the tradition and actually give you a long coffee break now and enjoy the Scania family feeling here. Talk to our colleagues, have a look around at the products, have a coffee, and we will be available here for further questions as well. And with that, we say thank you and thank enjoy you. your day. Good. Good.